Hey guys, welcome back to another CRF250L modification. We've already done the Pro Taper bars, done an oil change on it, heated the heated wire into it, and now what we're gonna do is get rid of this fugly ass fender. I chose to go with TST Industries mainly because, well, I put one on pretty much every single bike I've ever owned. Getting rid of this fender is always a huge bonus and a huge update. Makes a motor, any and every motorcycle look a million times better. I'd like to start off by showing you the kind of kit I bought. If you're interested in getting one and also the relay that I bought, the relay is probably a, is not worth not buying basically. It doesn't add that much more to it and it is a 100% great idea. You should definitely get the relay when it comes to the kit itself. So I'll do my best to make this a quick, smooth, easy video. If you wanna do this yourself, a quick description of how to get it done. First things to remove, these little, two little six millimeter Allens. Technically there's four of them, two on each side. Don't lose the little washer and it goes in that way. It helps hold the plastics together. With those out of the way, we should be able to just pull the seat right off. Next thing to remove would be some of these plastics and you can just push this little grommet right out. You can see where this grommet kind of just pops out of there real easily. Do the same on this side. Pull it right out. And now you can see the rest of the tail just comes off. Next thing to do would be to get all the electrical out of the way. You can just bend that guy out of the way. Try and feed everything out of this rubber boot. You can see the rubber boot's pretty large so it can slide over the rest of these connections like so, and now you have access to all these. And we're gonna go ahead and unplug them all. So I'm just gonna use a little pick here, like this pick, and it'll come right out. So you can see the little lip here that's holding it in there. And same with this, you're just gonna lift up, slide it out. Same kind of connection, lift up, and slide it out. All right, so now for the black connectors, you have this little push button here that you can push, pop it off. Same with this one, pretty simple. Push this button, slide it out. Now all the electrical's been released. 10 mils for the front two and 12 mil for the back two. No washers or anything. And there she went gone so run them in like that place the bracket it's not that bad but there's a little bit of adjustability where you put these screws all right there's one to be able to adjust it i guess a little bit all right there's two one more in the center there all right so there's our three bolts that we placed in all right now that we got that together Take the zip tie and then back down. And we'll be able to hold this wiring harness right here in place with this zip tie. Depending on how long or short we need it or how much we wanna, where we wanna keep it at. But So yep, we need the two 12 mils that we took out and then the kit Comes with these two washers. A set of washers on here. Stick these 12 mils in. Get it about where you like it. That's what this piece of the kit is for, that it came with and that's for our brake light. And at this point, the black one is only gonna fit with one of the black ones. Obviously, it's not gonna fit on that black one, so you know you're not gonna use it. Same with these two white cables. You're not gonna use them unless you're buying the license plate light. We'll see if I like it or don't like it without the license plate light. But for now, this is what I got. An orange and a blue, and then we've got this green and brown, which are gonna be our turn signals. So I don't know which is which. I'm just gonna plug them in. We'll go ahead and test it right now, just to see 
if we got the right turbulence signal on the right hand side or not. All right, so now that we got everything plugged in, let's go ahead and test it. There's the brake light itself. Go ahead and grab the brake. Let's see it. It's functioning, it's doing its job. Try the freaking foot brake. It's working. So left turn signal, we're gonna turn left and we're getting the left. Right turn signal, getting the right. So we got lucky. The green wired plug goes into the orange and the brown wire goes into the blue. Kind of a pain in the ass to get all this in here, but enough effort, it'll go. Let's see, it is in there. There we go. We can slow that down and make it a little more normal by putting that relay in there. So that's kind of up to you whether it's worth it or not, but I bought it, I'm gonna do it. I'll go ahead and show you how to install the relay. And for the relay, it's over here on the right hand side of the bike, just under the rear brake reservoir. So we'll go ahead and remove this 10 mil. Get that guy out of the way there. But this little black box right here is our relay. It's held on by a small rubber dammit. So I was able to slide it out fairly far so you can see that. See on this relay as I pulled it out of here, there's a little push, it says push right there. Now that the old relay is out, you can see under the relay where it was sitting, I was able to pull this guy out. So this little rubber thing is what's gonna allow us to put the new relay in the same spot so it's not bouncing around. So let's see if you can see all the way back in there. You can see those two little prongs there and that's what we're putting the relay on. So here's our relay in that little rubber bracket point obviously there would be to run that rubber bracket over there and then this other lip is going to go back on those prongs. I'm going to take this rubber hose off because it's not a fluid hose. There we go, we got that moved out of the way there. And that hose is off. Yeah, there we go, we got much more room to move around in there. But you can see what we need to plug the relay into and where we need to put it. So we're gonna start by trying to plug in the relay first. Ah, not bad one-handed, honestly. Once you get your second hand out of the way, it's actually fairly easy to plug in that relay. Now the question is getting the rubber boot on there. That's actually going on very easy as well. well. Maybe I'm just getting super lucky. There we go, wasn't that difficult of a job. So that rubber boot just slid right on there. Got our new relay turned on or plugged in. Let's see what the lights look like. Nice, low, steady turn signal versus that crazy rapid one. The crazy rapid one is usually when, you're, when one of your turn signals are out, it'll make the rest of them run rapidly so you know whether or not your signals are out and it looks a little more normal so I don't know if it's worth it for you I think it's worth it for me it wasn't that much more expensive I think it's less than 20 bucks for the relay it's on we're good to go let's put this thing back together all right that was pretty easy I'd say that's worth the hassle honestly okay, put this back on here snug remember that's plastic don't break it all right that wraps it up it's time to put it back together so we'll start with the rear which if you remember before these just kind of slide right over nothing to it you need to make sure these holes line up right here because that's what's going to hold us together in the back and then you can just press these back in on each side, just pop right back in. Say so that looks pretty dang clean, honestly, I like it. Next would be our seat. Line up the little plastic piece down here. There we go, put our seat in. And then the final piece would be to put these guys back in. Our six millimeter hexes. Try and do that by hand so you don't strip them out before you use any kind of crazy tools. But if you have these kind of crazy tools, you probably already know that, but either way. Run them down. line up perfectly before you run them down all the way and we have officially eliminated that fugly fender not bad much cleaner from the fender we just removed you could steal these plastic nuts and bolts for the new bolt on your license plate 12 mils it is look at that there's like nothing holding these plastic things on i'll reuse them i don't really care it's not that big of a deal we got one and two we use those pieces for the installation of the license plate all right and for the final piece of this puzzle you need to actually install the license plate i've never seen these plastic nuts and bolts before but whatever we'll give them l throw them on here and see what happens 
I bet you you could do those by hand and be just as good as using tools with the plastic ones. But that's what came with the bike. We'll do it. That's it. Give her a little bend for good luck. Call it a day. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed the installation. Hopefully it's easy for you to do. I know it doesn't take very long. There's not that many moving pieces. I do suggest the relay if that's what you want to go for. If you don't mind the crazy flashing lights, I'd say don't buy the relay. It's 20 bucks, waste of money or whatever, I guess. But I wanted it, so I went for it. That's where it's installed. Hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys, and I'll see you next week. Cheers.